can I understand why a man wouldn't take me seriously? Yes, but that's not, um, I don't fault people who don't Let's see. Let's call my wife. Uh, Tyrese helped save our relationship when we were going through probably our lowest point and I cheated. And then we got to a point where we stopped talking to Tyrese. And can you explain to the people why we stopped talking to Tyrese? He and I became friends. Nigga, what? <laughs> The, like the the girl like the women that aren't worthy of being wives right. like that's how I would more so be categorized with those types of beliefs you know right. but that's not how um that's not really how he made me feel when right. we had when we had to sit down yeah he was not degrading I felt like we just had a really honest conversation about from that point of view and how a lot of men look at certain things and when it comes to you know having a kid when it comes to being so open about my past and being with different men can I understand why a man wouldn't take me seriously yes but that's not um I don't fault people who don't see my value like if you don't see it you're not meant to see it and that's okay we move on you know I don't have to subscribe or feel less than just because I'm not your mm -hmm. cup of tea so I think we can like respect you know the differences and appreciate the similarities seeing in Brittany is what a lot of girls feel is how they perceive themselves inside see women will run around and go for the streets and do a lot of things for attention and then she'll wake up one day and she's gonna say you know what all of my experiences makes me valuable it makes me smarter why because i can do more things that i am in control over so she feels like her value is in her knowledge that's what the older women think but she's not realized that she's devalued herself by being a devalued woman in other words men love the girls that are for the streets they love the girls that are wild. They love the girls that are loud. They love those, let's drink, let's just wild out, let's just be liberated. This is why they go to strip clubs. This is why they go to gentlemen clubs. This is why when you have parties when you're younger, you're like, yo, we gotta invite the party girls. Why? Men love easy, sleazy women, but they don't want to spend the, the rest of their life with. But modern women feel it's okay for them to be liberated. And when they gain the knowledge of what they've done, then their value increases. What she's saying is, if a man can't see my value, then that's what it is. And she's absolutely right. She's left just to be liberated for the rest of her life because what a man values in a woman, he's never gonna see it in her. But a simp who's never had woman is going to value her because he thinks what she says out of her mouth is her value and her experiences are the ones that matter. Hopefully you guys got that. We're about to react to another video with DJ Envy and Tyrese. And he's going to explain why he cannot be friends with Tyrese and why he cut Tyrese off because of his wife. Now, this is a wild story. Let's get to it. Let's call my wife, please. Uh, Tyrese helped save our relationship when we were going through probably our lowest point and I cheated. Uh, Tyrese came in and really helped us and guided us through our relationship, correct? Yes, he did, absolutely. And, and then we got to a point where we stopped talking to Tyrese and can you explain to the people mm -hmm. why we stopped talking to Tyrese? He and I became friends and we were very, very cool and we spoke often. But for me, it got to a point where it became inappropriate, like he was extremely demanding of my time and of my attention, where if I didn't give him my time and my attention, he would get very angry. What lines did he cross? You know, there was flirting and inappropriate compliments. Certain things that you don't say to a man's wife. Were and you upset that he wasn't flirting with you in any way, shape or form? A little bit. No, you see, you're playing too much. <laughs> uh, Tyrese did help save my marriage and I have a respect for him for that. Me and your wife were communicating August 11th, 2022. August 11th, 2012. I said something that was seven hours and three, she said, without fail. Like, I got receipts. I'm sending, I'm sending images of my new Rolls Royce to your wife. Like, I know y'all always got nice cars and this and that. Like, if she blocked me, if I actually disrespected her, as you allege, and you felt the way, how are we communicating August 22nd, 2023? It's shit, bro. 
Like that's that's like look look what your wife just texted back and said absolutely beautiful talking about me purchasing an island in Turks and Caicos. That was August 23rd, 2023. Come on, man. And the last time that all three of us was on the text chain, we were actually going back and forth trying to figure out when can we The worst thing that's happening here is DJ Embiid actually allowed his woman to have communications with another male. Now understand, DJ Envy has done all kind of beta stuff in the past. We can admit that. But that's one of the biggest problems is when you blatantly know that there is a man that's constantly in communications with your woman, you are beta. It's that simple. I don't care who you are. No man is comfortable with another man being in communications with his wife. You cannot be at the point where you're going to trust somebody like that. It's that simple. Let's get back to it. It's shit, bro. Like, that's, that's like, look, look what your wife just texted back and said, absolutely beautiful. Talking about me purchasing an island in Turks and Caicos. That was August 23rd, 2023. Come on, man. That was just a couple of weeks ago. And they're now doing the interview saying that they're not even in communication with each other. Looks like DJ Envy is getting himself caught up. Let's get back to it. And the last time that all three of us was on the text chain, we were actually going back and forth trying to figure out when can we finally do an IG live with all three of us finally talking about what God put on my heart to do on behalf of the marriage. So I'm going to ask you, sir, since all of this is played out for the public, did I disrespect your wife or did I not? He making a point. And the reason for that is, is if she really felt like she was being disrespected, why is she still in communication with this guy? See, men, you have to understand the worst thing that's happened to modern men is you know how to be dramatic just like women. So it's easy for you to get pulled inside of a woman's drama. Women know how to create chaos. And it sounds like DJ Envy's wife has kind of created a little chaos here. And Tyrese is coming back saying, why are you guys making me out to be the monster? And if I'm such a monster, why is she still text messaging me if I disrespected her so bad? Let's get back to it. Because why would your wife be communicating and responding with me with all the good energy that it's always been? And why would you be communicating with me and your wife on a text chain? And why am I texting you directly and you're responding? There is no problem. There is no disrespect. Just be a man and say, when you went through the same shit that I was going through, I just needed an out. I needed to just like, yo, I, I'm not fucking with none of that. Just say it. And then here's the last thing that nobody knows. When I had my psych med meltdown, it was around 2017 because I woke up to the news September 11th. And probably like a month later is when this goofy psychiatrist gave me the psych med saying it's gonna help you to calm down and stabilize your mood and it me up. The psych med episode had already came and went. Me and my ex were still together over a year, year and a half after the whole thing went down. Me, you, and your wife have been on calls. We've been texting. We've been communicating. And we've been good. Me and your wife were communicating August 11th, 2022. August 11th, 2012. Look, I said something that was seven hours and three. She said, without fail. Like, I got receipts. I'm sending, I'm sending Tyrese. Now let's look at this Tyrese. <laughs> Tyrese sending a lot of messages and she's answering back with two word sentences. What does that mean? That means she really don't want to talk, but she's still in communication. If he was that disrespectful, you should have already blocked him. It's that simple, but he is sending a lot of messages and she's not really communicating back. She's using one word, two word sentences. That's already a red flag. Images of my new Rolls Royce to your wife. Like, 
I know y'all always got nice cars and this and that. Like, if she blocked me, if I actually disrespected her, as you allege, and you felt the way, how are we communicating August 22nd, 2023? It's shit, bro. Like, that's, that's like, look, look what your wife just texted back and said, absolutely beautiful. Talking about me purchasing an island in Turks and Caicos. That was August 23rd, 2023. Come on, man. And the last time that all three of us was on the text chain, we were actually going back and forth trying to figure out when can we finally do an IG live with all three of us finally talking about what God put on my heart to do on behalf of the marriage. So I'm going to ask. God is telling you to leave them alone. Why? Because he's already in communications with another man. That alone is a sign that she, do not, that she does not want to be in the relationship. Women die out of relationships, but stay in them for the kids. And I think that's what's happening with DJ Envy here is that you've had, You've had another man, too many men in your relationships trying to fix your relationship. You and your wife need to just really come to a conclusion as to what to do. And I think they're just missing out on a lot because both of them have been married together for a very long time. All right. Hopefully you guys got the message behind the video. Comment, like, subscribe to both of my channels. Hasta la vista.